Alright guys, uh, welcome back. This is Ty, the other video for you. <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually doing uh, recording via two cameras and uh, mixing them together. You'll see I've got my flip camera here. Um, there, This is actually, this is my Android camera and it's actually further away, or it's about the same distance as the flip is. You can see the flip, um, I'll, I'll switch over here, you can actually see the flip shows less. Um, I'm almost thinking that the Android camera is better for recording videos. Um, they're both recording at 720p, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, so... There's my donkey. I'm being very loud right now. Um, so what I got here is my Donkey Kong Jr. cabinet. And uh, what I wanted to show you is I picked up something from uh, ArcadeShop.com. It's a uh, what's called a Nintendo pass-through adapter. I've got this wheeled out right now. I put my Nintendo cabinets on caster so I can easily move them to get two of them. All right. I've already installed it in my cabinet. <clears throat> okay, so what you're looking at here, this is the pass-through adapter. Um, every one of these connectors that you see here originally were connected to the Donkey Kong Jr. board that was in here. And uh, you're probably wondering, why would I do such a thing? Um, well, basically what it comes down to is that um, Donkey Kong Jr. came in two different, with two different wiring harnesses. One that used this edge connector, another one which used these, um, all these connectors here. And uh, in this case, um, the reason I did this is because I have other Nintendo game boards which I want to be able to play in this cabinet. Um, and I'll show you right here. The first one here is, uh, this is a Donkey Kong 3. And if you see, it doesn't have any of those uh, connectors that the Donkey Kong Jr. has. Just the edge connector, because I switched to just using those. And the same thing here, I have a Popeye. And you'll see here that it actually has the headers, or the spot to solder these on, but it doesn't actually have the connectors on it. And also, secondarily, is that it's really a pain to connect all those connectors every time you want to connect the board up. So here's the, Donkey Kong, here's the Popeye. And then here is another Donkey Kong Jr., which does have the connectors. But this one's been modified, and, and this is actually play, has a game called Special Forces 2 on it. And uh, all the, the ROMs have been removed from the board, and this daughter board has been plugged in, which has a, actually has a different processor than the original game had. And uh, then there's just two uh, power wires here that are connected up. This is the ground, and this is, well, not ground, and this is, I guess, plus there. Plus whatever volts, I don't know, I have to test it, but... Yeah, so that's it right there. Um, so first thing I thought I'd do is um, I'd actually put in the uh, Donkey Kong 3. So let's get this board up. All right. Okay. So we're going to turn the system off. All right, so it comes off pretty easily on the Donkey Kong Jr. But these Donkey Kong 3 boards are actually pretty thick. Do this with one hand, it's going to be interesting. <clears throat> okay. Just setting this position where it's not going to make contact with anything. Just sitting there right now. i got to make a, a mount for these <clears throat> so I can have them in the cabinet. Easily enough. Oh, I gotta turn it back on again. That would be good. And, oh, and another thing to note is that uh, this this board is not labeled anywhere with the um, you know which is which pin goes to where. Like these, this is pin one here. It doesn't say pin one on the board, but uh, you should just notice that the power the power cables here and whoop <laughs> the power cables here and that's where all the power connections are. Okay, so here's the game running, and what I'm going to do is move this camera in. <laughs> this will be better for recording it. Alright, so this camera's going down for now. Well, I need my keys. The 
That's one thing uh, is that this game does not have free play on it. So I need to be able to get inside and coin it up. I don't think this side is going to work. I'm going to put it over here. Right, you guys can see most of the screen there. Now, one of the thing, interesting things I think about Donkey Kong is that is that most people think of Donkey Kong as a um, as a Donkey Kong game primarily, but really it's more like a space shooter, like Galaga. I mean, even he even got flying insects. And granted, in Galaga, they're, they're spaceships, a little bit bugs, but in uh, it's really a, a space shooter. Now, one thing you notice is that most people, or not most people, but one of the things I used to want to play this as a kid is I thought that you just had to get Dr. Kong to the top. But I, you notice I'm just keep playing here like this. And that's because it's actually an end to a level, just like in any space shooter. The, bug, the bugs don't, aren't infinite. One thing you gotta be careful though is you have to make sure that you keep Donkey Kong from falling off the uh, ropes. Oh. <laughs> So there's a uh, uh, there's Donkey Kong three, which normally I play much better than this, but uh, gotta put the initials in. Always gotta do that. Okay. So let's go on to the next game here, which is Popeye. I'm gonna actually take the old one out. Take Donkey Kong three out first.
Now, one thing you're going to notice here is that Popeye is sideways. <laughs> and uh, that's because Popeye is a horizontal uh, game with a monitor. And uh, I can move this back a little bit further. I hate this camera. Now, it's going to be hard to play like this, but basically, um, mainly, I, I didn't really get this uh, board for the... It's really hard to play sideways, though. <laughs> but you get the basic premise. I'm not going to be able to play this very well sideways like this. But as you can see, the game works in this. Um, now, the Special Forces board here, one thing I'm missing is I'm missing this what's called a rainbow connector for this board. But I'm just going to steal one from this board. What this rainbow connector does is actually trans it sends power from one board to the other. On the um, <laughs> that was scary. All right. Okay. No, no bend things there. Um, normally, you'd have this P3 connector here. would have a separate power connector to it. So, but in this case, we don't. With the, that's if you're using the whole harness, the harness with all the extra power connectors. All right. So here. Let's turn off Popeye. Let's set Popeye someplace safe, ish. Now, I've played this game before in my uh, my Donkey Kong Cabaret cabinet. It's before I got this cabinet. Um, but I figure I'll just throw it. It's an interesting game, so I thought I'd throw up here a little more video of it. It's not something you see very, every, very, de every of very often, should I say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's turn it off again. This happens on the... There we go, and I might have to adjust the hold on it. Yes, because it's the position. Let's see if that fixes it. It's hard to tell when you got to keep going back and forth. Too much that way. Okay, just a little bit more. Now we gotta go in the other way. Okay. At least we're getting close.
Now back the other way. Oh, this is not working out the way I want it to. Got have I got it yet? Ah. <laughs> uh. Might just cycle the power. All right, it's close. Turn it off and on again. There we go. I think. Oh, it's in test. I don't know what, why it's doing that, but... There we go. Good enough. <laughs> Get this out of... Uh... All right, you gotta adjust the monitor for the, this one's not even adjusted for this uh, cabinet, right? I need to adjust the horizontal position and stuff. The main reason I was scrolling is because of the position of the video. Anyways, I'm not gonna sit. I'm not gonna mess with this much more. I just wanted to show you guys that I can play multiple games in this. What I need to actually do is um, this game needs adjustment. See, now that's off. I need to adjust it back over because I've messed it up for the other games. There we go. That's better. Alright, so, uh, yeah. What I'm going to do now is um, actually put this back together. show you here is how easily I can move this cabinet back to where it goes. After I move the camera about 10 miles away, <laughs> you still can't see it. But I've got it on, uh... you see I've got all my games on casters now. I made these cool brackets for them that are made of metal, that are made of metal. Um, just wheel it over. Carefully, of course, because I don't want to send the things on top flying off. There we go. So now it's back into position. Games. This one still needs to be finished. <laughs> yeah, I'll get to that someday. Um, yeah, so uh, I've got the Donkey Kong Jr. back in there. It's working. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to have some more videos for you. Um, as I was saying, um, I was talking about that. Um, this is what's well, the Donkey Kong 3. What I need to do on this board is actually. 
it over here. These uh, pots here need to be adjusted. The board really needs to be cleaned too. It's got some crud on it. <coughs> yes. Oh, another thing too that was interesting is when I first hooked this game up, I, I've already hooked this up into the cabinet and uh, one of the things I, I, I turned it on at first, I was missing colors. What you want to do is make sure all your color proms are pushed in. I think it was this one right here. This one was actually halfway out. When it, it must have popped out in shipping when I got it, but I had no way to test it until I got this adapter. So yeah, thank, God, thank you guys uh, for watching and uh, um, I'll have some more videos for you. I've got some more stuff to show you. Um, also, uh, again, if you wanted to pick up one of these adapters, you could pick it up at ArcadeShop.com. Um, there's another place I was going to get one, but I got tired of waiting for it. Um, so I ended up getting the one from Arcade Shop. Um, it was like $35, which isn't a bad price for them. And, uh, you know, considering what what's goes into it, it's, uh, not one of these, it's not one of those adapters you can easily make for yourself because they got all the header pins and you have to really, you have to make your own board for it. Um, well, not really, but it, it's just a pain to do it, so... It's a lot. It's worth the thirty-five dollars to just buy one that's already made, and it's actually quite nice, nicely made. So, that's it. All right, guys. Uh, that's it.